This is a uh, force toy. It's a flow, rhythm, and skill toy. This is a preset. Similar, like I had a, a, you could do similar techniques like a clack, where you have these the same length, and you could do that. A little dangerous though. This one's a, a, a b-boy, so it's like a break dancing thing to me, I just move it around. Make it something you move with your whole body instead of just your hands. They normally don't have cups, like uh, they, you can fill bottles and stuff, they normally don't have a cup out there. Maybe you can find one over by the coffee place, but they look pretty shut down. I uh, made these myself. If you look up uh, Tash Juggling on YouTube, I load videos up all the time. I'm starting a circus arts club here on campus. Like uh, I b-boy and break dance and beatbox, and then this is uh, the art of free doing or attached juggling. You can do it with one or two. I just prefer the three ball set, that's what started it all. But this is called monkey style. You just play with two orbiting ones. Or if you secure this one, you can play like a solo style where you just do it with the one ball. I can't help but add the other ones though, it's so much fun to have three of them. Because really all you have to do is move. Like uh, here, here's the basic rundown of how you use it. Like it's how you're holding it and what you do to it. So it's your position and your technique. Your position is where you're contacting it. Is it a ball, is it a string, or some combination of a ball and string? Where does that contact happen? Like that's your root. Like is it on your arm or is it like in a hand? Mostly it's hand, but I use my other, my arm and my elbow sometimes. And then it's like how you're standing, that's all your position. Once you establish what your, your position is, this is what started it all. This is chaos position, so if these two, the ads, don't go through the try around the flow ball, you just start to add technique to it. So you add motion, you start swinging it and spinning it. Then you start feeling that pressure and you start wrapping and pulling it. And it'll get all tangled up when you start twisting the back on itself, so you change the position. So it's basically contact, root stance, motion pressure, change. So you just think about that in a different elements, like you can flow with it. You can just add rhythm to it, like shake it, move it around. As long as those abs don't go through the try like that, it won't tangle. Try it yourself, make three, like something, just a ball with a, a board out hole. Call a bob. Just put three of them or one of them on a string. Just practice swinging it back and forth. It's a little poise, it's a little dance. It's a lot of meditation. Like I do it all day long. Just fun. My name is Mike Wise. Nice to meet you. If you want to see maybe even this video go up online? I'm just trying to get something interesting with these paintings in it. But uh, yeah, look up attached juggling on YouTube. It's two words. Like uh, our AJ is what it started as. Our Astro Jacks. Yes. Spend some time finding that flow and building a skill to it. Once you find that rhythm between the flow, it builds the skill. Like, because you stop thinking about what am I doing with it, and you just start sort of just watching and, and participating around.
These are dangerous because they're so hard, but Astro Jacks makes a soft one that you can use it. Surprise, Astro Jacks didn't catch on. They made it into Walmart and Target, KB. This was like 2005. They just didn't find the culture to it. Like, this is something I do every day, so it's more of my lifestyle now. If you want to participate, once you have the club, it's called the Outlet. And it'll be for any sort of dance, music, performance type skills. We'll do like a variety show as people can showcase their hidden talents and stuff. Pretty weird. the talent. I see people uh, go to concerts and they'll set up a canvas behind whatever's going on on stage and they'll paint for like an hour. So by the end of the concert they have something they can sell that everybody that was sitting in the audience then can like bid on it at the end of the show if they want it. It's a good way to uh, promote your art. I draw as well so it leads into comic booking sometimes. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. My name's Mike. Matt and Natalie you said? Now, yeah, look up attached juggling. Like this video turned out pretty well. It'll probably go online. I'm trying to get both these paintings in it, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm just delaying going to the computer lab. I'm one of those ADD type adults that uh, has to always be moving. Yes. Thank you.